All right, family, this is your girl Mary Lee. Don't forget to put dash between the Mary and the Lee. I'm on Clark and uh, almost Devon. I'm going to the police station because I have to do this video over again. I'm going to start from the beginning. Now, I had an account on Clark, 5th, 3rd, right? Now, they say us Native Americans are 5th, 3rd humans. Everybody know this is roots all day. They go to con. Y'all being con, Native Americans, ain't nothing animalistic about us. Okay? I'm going to take this video from the top. I'm probably going to have to, you know, piece it together because that's what haters do. So, in order to get it right, this is the police station. You see the towers? See how nosy they are? See the purple? You understand what I'm saying? The color purple. I'm so sick of this story. Now, you got the police station right here. Now, I've been in this city all my life. This is girl Mary Lee. Look at the dash between Mary and the Lee. The ghetto news reporter. Coming live and direct on Clark Street up north. Police station. Right is supposed to be my mother's, um, you know, last name or whatever. Okay. My name is Mary Lee Davis. You can spell it with a Z instead of the S due to the fact that there is a um, Caucasian transgender woman that wrote a book called Working in Law and Justice, okay? In 1999. Now, I gave open my story in 1995 and 1984, and I was in the Sun-Times newspaper when I was six years old in 1973. We circling this shit up, hopefully. Now, you got the Chicago Police Memorial Foundation hanging up at this police station. Whatever district it is, find out for yourself. I really don't give a shit. I'm not into the police like that. But June 25th is the day that Michael Jordan was supposed to have died. I just left um, the Staples uh, store on Clark and uh, Wilson, and they was playing Janet Jackson, and the music was loud and clear. Okay? So, I said all I have to say. My story is my truth. They go to color purple, McDonald's cup. Everybody wants a piece of me, okay? So I've been up here for ever since 1996 in Rogers Park because they brought me here after they railroaded me in 1995, okay? And you know, because of my legacy, because I'm a Native American, okay? And uh, the Jacksons are native of Indiana. But if you put it all together, it's still, you know, Illinois or whatever and stuff. Because I just rode my bike recently, 12 hours all together from, you know, Chicago, South Side, to, you know, Gary, Indiana. You understand what I'm saying? To the Jackson family household. So I said all that to say. They brought me here in 1995 after they railroaded me and said... You know, that I was crazy because, you know, I gave my story to Oprah Winfrey and all that mess. You understand what I'm saying? So after I left the nut house or whatever, I ended up in Rogers Park at a place called Safe Haven. And, you know, long story short, I, I became sober. My sobriety day is on Christmas, 1225, you know, 1997. And, uh, you know. They mad because I'm still sober because they want me to be looking like a raving lunatic. I'm glad I have this hat on. You know, I am native. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. Because yesterday I had, you know, Chicago with my rainbow colors, you know, hat. And it didn't work out for me. We're going to see if it work out because it's not too long and I got to step it up and stuff. This story. So, you know, they railroaded me again because I was giving my story away in Rogers Park, you understand what I'm saying? You know, my, my book, Ryan's Poems and Metaphors, plus one song. Now, this used to be a male's 
hotel. It's called Touche. Look like they didn't came up. You see the little stars on the top. You know, my money has afforded them a lot. You understand what I'm saying? The truth is the light. It's not a fucking joke. Okay? I'm pretty sure it's still a hotel. Now, I was arrested May 31st of 2008. But, I was arrested down further. But, you see all this buffoonery going on right here? Now, they have cleaned up their act a little bit. But it's still, you know, a sore eye to the community because, you know, what if I had a child and I had to walk by? You understand what I'm saying? And they see this, you know, look at that. Look at the foot. You see, they didn't cut the foot off. You know, it's it's kind of weird and stuff. You know what I'm saying? They have cleaned it up a little bit better. It was worse and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe somebody's starting to feel me. Real talk. Now, I don't want to harp on that, but, you know, and I don't want to promote it either. But my thing is, I got arrested May 31st of 2008 after I had just got my license renewed, you know, on my birthday of 2008, which is May 25th. And so, after I got my license renewed, you know, six days later, I was arrested for so-called disarming a police officer and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Not only that, I had paid my rent twice and just renewed my lease at 7333 North Ridge. You understand what I'm saying? Apartment 508. Now, on, if you go on Clark and Ridge, they have shut down the furniture spot. That's how much they hate on me. They have shut down the furniture spot. You understand what I'm saying? Where I got my furniture at, and that is on the video, my first YouTube ever video that I uploaded, you know, on November the 7th of 2007 and November the 8th of 2007. They have shut that furniture place down because they really trying to discredit me. So if you want to know what type of person I was and how, you know, I was living good, you understand what I'm saying, opposed to now, a one-room shack, you understand what I'm saying, then go to that video, Mary Mac versus the Fat Black Oprah Winfrey. Now, back to... May 31st of 2008 and when I got rail railroaded and keep in mind I was born May 25th 1967 now I'm at Dino's bar and carry out it's been existing since 1990 since 1967 okay you understand what I'm saying now yesterday when I did this video everything was on point but because I didn't upload it you understand what I'm saying you know, somebody was able to take the damn video. I had to do it a couple of times, so I'm trying to get it, get it out the way. Now I was driving. I had a 1992 Buick Lesabre. Now I'm driving, coming from the north, going south to a gospel fest, right? On May 31st of 2008, and the detectives was coming from the east, and they told me, you know, to pull over some white cops, right? They told me to pull over. I did. And I pulled over right here. Where it say Super Mover. At this gas station. Which is a Shell's gas station. If you take the S off you get hell. So I was pretty much going through hell. On May 31st of 2008. Now this is Arizona. License plate. With Canada and America. Okay. But my mama supposed to have died. May, I mean, March 23rd of 2000, okay? See? All you got to do is switch the numbers around. And I gave Oprah my story when I was 28 years old. This is her aha moment, I guess. You know, that's what Oprah liked to say. So, in 1995, I was 28 years old, okay? Now, the police pulled me off right here. You understand what I'm saying? And they told me license insurance and all that and the reason why they supposed they had pulled me over was because of tinted windows now i had the lightest tent money could buy and there go your police again you understand what i'm saying i had the lightest tent money could buy and the detectives pulled me over right here where this u-haul is at you know 
I knew I was being harassed. Like now, they go another police officer. And mind you, this cozy corner used to be red and black, okay? So all they doing is taking my uh, legacy. So I got to speed it up. I got out the car. You know, I folded my arms. They, um... Uh, you know, because I felt like I was being harassed. I folded my arms and stuff. And they pulled me from behind, slammed me on the ground. We talking guys harassing a girl. I am a girl. I am a lady. I was born this way, for real, for real. A real vagina, not transgender, none of that. A girl, real talk. And they slammed me down, maced me, took me to a police station. But they didn't take me to the one I just showed you, okay? They took me to one on Lincoln that they tore down. And then they eventually took me on Belmont and Western. And my favorite saying is... I ain't no used car salesman, and that's why I want a drop top Cadillac truck because that's my ideal as well. You understand what I'm saying? For real. So, long story short, they put some bogus charges on me to get me off the street because Barack Obama was trying to become president. Not only that, you understand what I'm saying? I was giving my book away because I didn't have time to sell it because I needed to get my story of being a child abuse victim out there, you know real fast to the streets because I knew these new people that's out now, Young and Maze and all them, and um, LeBron James, they was going to be, you know, hating on your girl or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? And they are. And if you notice, they shutting everything down pertaining to my my people, you know, Oprah Winfrey, uh, the uh, Michael Jordans and them, all that. You understand what I'm saying? So, the reason why they're doing that because they want to pump out that marijuana dispensary and all that and because I don't drink drugs or smoke you know I'm in the way so they trying to railroad me now my um, ex-girlfriend Luana Joy Jacobs and I we used to come to this this uh, pool hall right it's still on Clark but I'm on Highland now it's called Pressure it's on 6318 North Clark okay it's on Highland and Clark okay now this is the number one pool table right here Okay, it's number one. I'm number one for a reason because I know who I am and everybody else, they just hate me. Okay, we're not going to worry about that. But the truth of the matter is, me and my ex-girlfriend, Lawanda Joy Jack Jacobs, who is of, you know, you know, she's cute like me. You understand what I'm saying? She was sitting about right there, and I, I shot a shot right there at the end, right? And I called the shot. I made the ball go all the way around. It was the eight ball, right? I made the ball go all the way around the table and stuff. I called the shot. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody witnessed it. I'm sure it's on camera. And, of course, haters gonna hate. Either way it go, I don't care. So, long story short, this is Highland and Clark. When I was in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, you know, in 2011, you know, I was trying to find this place that they had put me at because they thought I was crazy when I was younger, about 13 or whatever and stuff. And it's called Willow Glen Academy and they used to always shoot me up with, you know, drugs and stuff because they want me to be a dope thing because I'm worth so much. They knew my potentials when I was younger. I'm talking to everybody in the world. And because they knew my potentials, you know, Africans and Native Americans even, and white folks and immigrants all around the world, you know understand what I'm saying? Came to America to be a part of my legacy. But once they figure out what I was doing, they got mad. And they go Africa for you. See? See? You see? Nothing happens in this world by mistake. See? Malcolm X, he was a traitor. If you go on a hundred and Cottage Grove, you will see under the divider. You understand what I'm saying? Him and Martin Luther King is on that um is on a mural. And a little girl, you know, was reading the book. You understand what I'm saying? I'm the motherfucking chosen one. That's the bottom line. This is the video that I had to do over because yesterday niggas was hating and I couldn't upload it. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you other than I'm the best. And everybody knows that. And I proved it today because, you know, those who follow me, they know. So this is your girl, Mary Lee. Gotta go. Have a good day. Let me move around. All right, gotta go.